Hi, my name is Daniel Walter Scott, and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. Now, in this video, we're gonna look at the do's and don'ts of a domain name. Now, the first one is numbers. Uh, stay away from numbers if you can. Um, you don't wanna curse yourself to a life of gardening supplies for you.com where you're on the phone and it's you know, Daniel at gardening supplies for you.com. Yeah, no, it's the, yeah, no, uh, for just, just the number four, yeah. And you, yeah, just, just you, you by itself, yeah. Okay, don't do that to yourself. Also stay away from hyphens if you can. Hyphens generally mean that the good domain name's gone. Yeah. You've you've searched and you've found gardening supplies or greengardeningsupplies.com, okay? And it's gone. So what you do, sneaky trick, is you go green hyphen gardening hyphen supplies, okay? Uh, to get around that, okay? The problem with that though is that there's an existing business with the shorter version who are working hard at building their domain name and their brand around that domain name. You're gonna start doing the same thing and what tends to happen is some of your traffic is gonna end up back at them because that's the correct way of writing this one. You've got the kind of uh, weird way of writing it. So keep a unique domain name if you can and stay away from hyphens. And another question I get asked is, uh, what if I just buy lots of domain names and have lots of them pouring into one website, why don't I get lots more traffic? And that doesn't work. What happens is, is a website has one primary domain name and all the rest of the domains that point to it, um, they will redirect, but they won't bring an equal amount of extra traffic in, okay? Um, a good thing you can do though with extra domain names is to protect uh, the domain name. So say for my Australian business, I have the bringyourlaptop.com.au but also the byol.com.au, just to protect those two, uh, what the acronym and the longer version. And um, also useful if you plan to go into kind of other localized parts of countries. So um, if you plan to not only do the US, but also the UK and Australia, getting the .co.uk, the .com.au, and um, all the other localized ones can be really handy. So um, we'll talk about that in the next video, actually, because that's actually quite an important part, deciding whether to buy .com or the localized, say, .com.au for Australia. All right, let's, let's go check out that in the next video.